Hello and welcome to Texas. It's New Texas and it's Be Open here today. We are in the Xfinity series and I'm putting my queue setup in, some OSR. We've got going out to the track here. I'm going to change that to 12 to 1 and then I'm just going to be okay with that. Uh, we've got ourselves a 2.9k strength of field here midday or you know evening actually for Friday. And uh, we are the number four car out here. So we'll see what we can do. See if we can get that top five. And for now, see if we can get a good starting spot. Love Texas, so I didn't want to miss this this week for sure. Probably going to check out Sea Open as well. And uh, race the trucks around here. Don't, uh, unfortunately don't have trucks in the truck NIS series league race this week that might have been a chance for me to actually get a win because I love Texas one of my favorite tracks both versions of it green flag, green flag. I think okay. it's very fun to race so uh, it's too bad we won't be able to bring those in that series we'll see what we can do uh, later this week in the trucks in official racing. See what we can do here in Xfinity. Okay with that first lap. I'm thinking the first lap's probably going to be the one that counts. I expect maybe the grip to fall off here. That's Paul. One, two. Oh no, that turn one and two is looking okay. Maybe pushing a little bit on exit, a lot of bit. Yeah. Pushed a little bit too much on exit there. So unless this is just the world's greatest three and four, I don't think we're gonna be. Yeah, that's not happening. I hit the apron a little bit. So first, uh, first lap's gonna be the one that counts. And uh, so far, I'm looking so good. He won, but probably got some more people gonna come in here. Probably with faster laps, if I had to guess. Number three back there, just behind us, in P2. And I, I notice an absence of a one and a two number car. There's the number one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I figured probably gonna lose that top spot, but that's okay. I think that should set us up for a nice finish or a nice start anyway. Hopefully, a nice finish too. Found myself a good hit entry, braking marker. That'll get the job done, even if my crew chief hates me for trying to practice pit entry. I don't like it when you do that anymore. I guess. So hopefully uh, everyone gets readied up, ready to go. Got a couple people still going, including the number two, who can hopefully take me out of P2 starting spot, because I hate starting P2. And uh, the 18 not here, unfortunately, so I guess we're going to have to wait. Although they did manually disconnect, so maybe they'll be back. Still P2 for now. Who still has not gone. Maybe waiting for the track temp to go down, potentially? I don't know. Not sure what they're waiting for. We'll get the race set up in now before I forget. Again, just OSR, but seems to be pretty good. I've been really happy with their queue setup, specifically. They've, been a, they've done a great job of getting me where I need to be. Pretty much uh, consistently, week after week. So the queue setups are very nice. Race setups are pretty good, too. I'm, I've always been... Happy with those. Sometimes they're better than others. But I think they do a nice job. Your engine Especially for something I'm getting completely free. Can't complain too much about that. Can't get a better price than free. So, if, uh, it, can, if it can put me in contention, Hi, Dalton. How are you? I am absolutely good with that. Who did? Who was that guy talking yeah. to? Not sure what they're talking about. So, the two did his first lap. What's he going to do his second lap? Right now he's P6. Is he going to jump up in front of us? Please do so. Please. Sir. Save me from a P2. I don't want to start P2. I really don't. The 18 actually came back, so... They might be looking to do some laps. I 
I don't know if the... the oh, there's the pizza. Ah, uh, no. Okay. Well, I guess we're outside front row. It is a nice starting spot. I just hate having to do this thing where you're like, Okay, is he going yet? Is he going yet? Oh, he went two seconds ago. Okay. That's how the start of this is going to work. Now listen to that. Real strength of field is 2.9k. 56.4 laps of fuel. We'll just come in around halfway if it's going green. I hope it does. Hope we have ourselves a nice clean race. Three sets of tires. Hi Bruno. I love you. Might have to be careful about how we use those, depending if uh, on if cautions come out. One guy has just left. That person was starting P10. Hopefully they'll be able to get back in time. I wonder if they had a crash or something and they had to exit. I've had that happen before. But we've got ourselves a 24 car field today. A little on the smaller side for B Open, I think. I think normally you can get up to like 30, can't you? Maybe I'm misremembering. There's another one dropping. Man. We're having engine failures before the race even starts here. That was your P-19 guy. Other guy gets back in. Will it be in time, though? Will he be able to grid up in that P-10 spot before the time runs out? And it's looking like the answer is no. That's very unfortunate for him. So we'll be ready to do our weird sideways Start hey, here. Do we want me not to need blanking at all? Follow the pace car. Yes, you, Mr. Brown. I sure will. Oh, there's Thank the you. 17. Poor guy. Hopefully he'll get himself a caution. I don't really want any cautions, but... One to go. At least he'll be able to get back started again. Hey, that now. guy's got my preferred Pete number. Car. Underneath that one, it's a 36. It's my favorite number to use. Yeah. He's going to be hard to beat, though. He's got a 6.4k I rating as the number one car here. He's going to be a tough guy to try to beat, so maybe we'll just try to learn something from him. Try to take care of the tires and uh, have ourselves a good run here at Texas. 21 on uh, pit road, starting in the pits, I guess, as well. We will have the start zones, the Geico restart zone. That's a good looking paint job, eight. So we'll have to worry about that. Appreciate it, man. This one really looks out on the road. Just one thing to make me even worse at starting P2 with a restart zone. The starter has control. Maintain the pace. I'm starting the first gear, it sounds like. All right, Colton. Nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. The guy behind me just blinked out. That was very scary. A little loose here on the outside. I preferred to uh, not be on the outside there, but... Okay, below is getting loose, maybe? I'm sure what's happening back there. That was kind of scary. Exited the corner really low there. Didn't really mean to do that, but... Fine, we are single file now, which is just what I wanted. Somebody's maybe up in the wall back there? A little bit squirrely everybody is right from the start of this thing. The leader has just done a 30.2. The lap time was 30.1. The guy behind has just done a 30.2. Typically you do at New Texas want to stay kind of low on exit, it feels like. Hey, hey, Chris, can you keep the roof, buddy? 
Go ahead, buddy. My bad. No, no, you did. You did everything. Did everything. You just racing hard. You know, you know, it's just done. 30.1. You've just done 30.1. Feeling okay. Car feels good. Just happy to ride for a while. Not in any sort of hurry. That five is taking a really interesting line for three and four. I don't think I've ever seen anybody take any lane but the bottom in three and four at New Texas. As much as I like Texas, it is very one note. You really have one line to run usually, but don't tell that to the five. That's your fastest lap today. Maybe he's got a really uh, loose setup or something where he's kind of trying to get that right front burned off a little bit and he'll be really fast later. Sure. Internet's being a little bit weird. I wish it wouldn't do that. Not too bad, but it is showing up as yellow. Just a bit. I don't really want to pass this guy if I don't have to. Side by side's not going to do us any favors at this point in the race. So I can just ride behind him, that's fine. Going a little slower through three and four, though. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and go around. It's just a little off pace for my tastes. So we'll get the track position. That's totally cool. Probably just burning my tires off, but hopefully not too bad. Try to focus on uh, avoiding... Overdriving. You're blinking, Tony B. That's so weird, man. It shows my ball about 100. I mean, everything looks fine. Alright, so leading some laps. Good stuff, good stuff. Try not to, uh,. You're good at the moment. Feel the right front or anything. We are through nine. The lap time was at 30.5. It's very easy to get on the throttle too early here in one and two. Especially like getting back through turn two there. It's like I mentioned before, you do really want a low exit, I think, at New Texas whenever you start pushing up out of two toward the wall that you really start hurting the right front and it's actually a bit slower too so it's very worthwhile to be patient before getting back on the throttle completely and uh, even though you can almost flat out through three and four it does seem to hurt the right front when you do that, so I've been lifting off a decent bit into turn three as well. And mostly just uh, partial throttling it through the corner there. And that's all good. Sorry about that, bud. You're good. It'll be interesting to see how we do in terms of tire wear. Feels like I'm doing okay, but I don't have the best track record when it comes to tire saving, so we'll see. You're now in the lead. And it's usually a bad sign when I'm passing people faster than me early in a race. That usually means that there's tire fall off in my future. So I'm guessing the one will come past me again later.
I'm trying though. I'm trying to do everything I can to go for a longer run speed as well. Everybody's still pretty much all packed together. Second, third, and fourth all still right, all right there. Brother, we'll try to Maybe lift it off a little bit too much into three. That last lap was at 30.9. Those guys that started on pit road have not yet gotten the caution they sure wanted. But I'm happy about it. I like having uh, some green flag laps. Inside. A little bit of a dive, that's okay though. Still there. Hold your line. Well, man. I kind of saw him thinking about it. We'll just file in behind him. No worries. I don't, I don't feel like I'm falling off yet, but I think he probably had a good run on me. I'm sure that draft helps him as well. Why are we doing that? That's a dive. That's too much of a dive. I, don't, I do not like that. I don't understand why you would do that. Uh, I'm going three wide because of reasons. So unnecessary. Didn't like that. It's lap 17. Almost died there. Your lap time was 21.4. Thank you. So, thank you for giving the one over a half a second lead. Outside. And that five has something with that higher lane. That's pretty interesting. Any room. What is this guy's problem? That's the second time he's stowed in on me. Gets by me, at least I don't have to worry about him sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. I still don't even feel like the tires are bad, they just all kind of started ambushing me. Maybe a little bit tighter through uh, 1 and 2. Ben, come on. P5 still, that's not bad. About halfway through this run, if we plan to come in on lap 45. Thank you.
I'm just completely intrigued by that fives higher line. I swear, nothing but the bottom ever works at Texas, usually. Cup time's pretty consistent. I got some space now. I guess our tires have fallen off worse than the guys ahead, because we're not quite able to keep up with them. I got two going high line as well. How about that? I got something working up there. I'm a little afraid to try that myself, because I don't know, I don't think I would be able to get it to hook up without practice. Was, uh, trying to get a look at how they're doing it though. They're really just taking the high line. I could see maybe why that would work. It does get pretty tight on the bottom at this point in the run. So being able to avoid that I could see being very helpful. Racing real close behind us, side by side, it looks like. That lap time was 31.5. Six behind, maybe catching us a bit. Lots of space now, though. You can see there's a nice gap between all the guys in front of us. Through 28 now. That lap was a 31.4. We're not losing a whole bunch at least. I was afraid uh, if our tires were going to be worse, we were just going to continue falling off harder and harder, but I think we're okay. I didn't completely destroy them, it seems like. I'm going to have to remember to be very good to them the second run as well though too especially since I was really trying to this run and it still maybe wasn't quite enough oh that was apron that was bad Lost a lot of time to the six behind us. Yeah, loose or something though, it looked like behind us. All that he gained was suddenly gone. You think he's faster though, he's gonna come back at us, probably be right there for too long once again. Starting to feel faster through three and four all of a sudden. Almost like the uh, car's loosening up again, which is interesting.
Not exactly the same feeling through 1 and 2, though. 1 and 2 still feeling pretty tight. See the 9 getting loose in front of us. Feels like we can carry more speed through 3 and 4, but I gotta make sure we're not overdriving it still, or else we might end up in a four-tire slide toward that wall, and that is not going to be a good situation to put myself in, so still going to try to avoid that. Leader's long gone. He's just continued to pull farther and farther away. The gap ahead is now 0.6. Pushed up a little bit high there. Is that a loose moment for the five? Okay. Looks like he went low on exit there, like he got loose. Not sure. The nine's still pulling away from us, I think, but we are getting room behind us, so that's good. Feeling good about our top five position. That's a wall. Don't do that. Very light tap, but still not what I want to do here. Go. Hey, look, it made us faster. We're fine. I can't get the uh, damage report thing to work. Where the crew chief tells you you got damage on the right side or whatever. I can't get that to work. I mapped it to one of my keyboard buttons, keys, keyboard keys, <laughs> and uh, it just it doesn't say anything when I press it, so I don't know. I'm going to have to try to bind it to something else, maybe. I've tried it a couple times in the past, and it hasn't worked, and I just tried it right there to see if the wall hurt us too bad. But I guess we will never know. Or maybe we'll find out when we pit, when we see if we have uh, any damage or not. Two looks like you might be going to catch the leader. I ain't got hold job on. I'm struggling. Okay, Colton. Flag down the assistant. So if I don't know it's someone you. pit that pit. They pit pretty early there, it looks like. I appreciate it, thank you. Experiment, no Got the 14 flying up on us, it looks like. It looks like he did a great job saving tires, maybe. So all of a sudden, he's got a rocket ship. We might just have to let him go when he gets to us. So he kind of came out of nowhere. Leader's up there running the high line. Maybe there's just something I didn't know about Texas and the Xfinity car. What was the point of that, 22? Right, 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 right. Where's the run, man? I'm right there. Your last lap time was at 31.7. That was fun, wasn't it? 14 gains a ton through turn 2. Looks like through 3 and 4 as well, he's got a lot of grip. We lost some momentum out of four, which is interesting. I think the plan has come in lap 46. I 
I am so sorry, man. Well, I guess we're not. Coming in when it has decided we're coming. You're ripping the high line, so. That sucks. I was looking forward to green flag pit stops, but. Oh well. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car zero nine. No green flag pit stop for us. We'll come get our fuel and tires here now with everybody else. Come on, guys. We gotta go all the way around. Go. Except for those guys that. Uh, except for those guys that already pit, which definitely did not want to see that, I imagine. Let's try to have ourselves a clean pit stop. Hopefully come back out in P5 or better. What did we learn from that run? I was not good on the tires, even though I felt like I was doing okay. I mean, like, we were still P5, which is not terrible. Okay, Started P2, so we're going to be hitting behind uh, a bunch of these guys. Five, three, two, one. Right here. 55, 60. Wow. Yeah, I was bad on the right front. Hmm. All right, I guess I got to back off entry a little bit more. I thought I was doing okay, but now I've got to back it down more. Did we come out P3? Dang. Nice job, pit crew. We're good on fuel to the end, so I don't have to worry about that. Pit crew did a great job. We're P3. We gained two spots there. Definitely take that. Start right behind the one. See, so gets his launch. See what we can do with that. It's open. I heard him in first gear for the initial start. Is that what we want? Hmm. Maybe. That is a pretty good launch. I'll have to think about it. I'm gonna just have to back up, uh, back up the corners too. Just a little bit too tight. Okay, Colton, you're halfway home. Your fuel is fine. Probably should have adjusted this stuff, but I can never remember what it does. I should do that, and I say I should do that every freaking day, but I never do. There's just so many things to remember in life, you know. Nobody here racing in VR. Like sometimes I forget to eat. In the what? And, uh, in VR. you need food to survive, so that's a, that's a pretty important one. <laughs> Apparently the leader's got a YouTube channel. Who would ever do something like that? That's just silly. Or maybe that's just his advertisement, whatever the core thing is. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the guy. Or his YouTube channel. Don says underwear. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Are they muted? They're not. I was missing something for a second. We're ready to go to this lap. We got another time around. I'm not sure what I'm going to do to save the right front now. Probably back it down more into one, I guess. It seems like everybody else is always driving in harder than me already there, though.
maybe I don't know easy through easier through three and four. Maybe that's it. I'm going to try that first gear start though this time. I think there might be something there. Maybe even get to the inside of the two, though I think he's probably not going to want to give that up easily. Got to remember it's going to be really slippery on these cold tires. So I'm going to have to keep that in mind as well. Restart zones are active, so be ready to launch whenever we get to that restart zone. About to go green, stay focused. The pace car is in. Green, 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 green. You're now in third. Dude, chops down on us. Really did not want to give up the bottom. Understandable. I had a feeling you would not want to give it up, so not surprising. What are we going to do to save this right front? Oh my gosh, what a dive. That was terrible. Gets the apron to get to the inside of him there, and then gets loose on exit. That was way aggressive driving. I don't know about that one. Colton, we're matching race pace. What are we doing? <laughs> Did he tap the wall? I don't know. They were being really aggressive, though. I'm just trying to save tire better than I did the first run. I feel like uh, I'm doing the opposite of what the other guys are doing. I'm really, uh, really aggressive. They seem to be. Up time was thirty point three. We agree, you're blinking really bad. Yeah, buddy, you just started blinking pretty bad. This is still happening. Car outside. God, he almost ran in the back of us. No, it's okay. better now. Keep low. I wish I could find out if it is what's doing that. Not that was at 30.3. Really don't want to be side by side. Still there, hold your line. I wish he would just get around us or do something. Go low. Clear. I'm mostly focused on just uh my alarm's going off for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, it's because normally we have, uh... <laughs> we normally have races. Fridays. Having to deal with that, I got a little slower for a second. I really would like to just save tires, and these guys are all over me. He's giving me no room whatsoever. We three wide. What are we doing? This guy's are stupid, man. Maybe get an off track because he's pushing me so tightly. Not necessary. I don't, know why we're, I don't know why we're driving like it's B fixed when we have like 40 laps to go still. I'm probably just a big whiny. But oh well. Are we gonna get tires? I know we haven't done very many laps, but. It's our open. This could go green to the end. I 
What are the guys ahead gonna do? The leader. Okay, what that was. Watch your speed. It's fine. You got loads. This two is getting on my nerves a little bit. Pit box team ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. We were 99-98, so really almost nothing. But don't want to be the guy on old tires in front of the whole field, so... Not P4, it looks like. Put more fuel in it, because I think it's good if this thing's rotating. I think that should help with that. Sorry for being rude and angry and frustrated at some people, but just stressful racing. Nobody stayed out, thankfully. Be starting P4. Probably just gonna start in second gear. It seems pretty equal with first gear, and at least this way I, uh, I only have to shift, or I just shift one less time. That's what I'm trying to say. These guys are being really aggressive, though. Let the two carbine. Did the two go? Why did the two go back down? Did he have a penalty? What is he doing going to the back? Yeah, I don't mind that. Maybe he got a penalty on pit entry. Maybe he slammed on his brakes because uh, he didn't go realize he was coming up on the. Uh, on the outside hit lane, and that's why he went sideways. That might explain that. So I guess we are uh, P3 then. That could be another wreck easily if he's going to be impatient trying to make his way back through the field or something, but I assume he probably has to come to pit road and do a pass through. I think that's the is that the new penalty for that? I know they switched the penalties around a little bit. It might still be a stop and wait or whatever. But it works out for us, I guess. We will be P3 and on the inside. I'm gonna do second gear this time. I really don't want to See, I don't want to ruin my tires again, but I also don't want to be in the middle of these guys putting me three wide and stuff. That's not going to be good for me. Like, I had to go through the grass in order to survive, I felt like. Because they were three wide coming through this quad oval, and the 14 was giving me no room. It felt like, so... Maybe he was, and that's just me, but you can see my tire tracks in the grass there. I don't know, maybe the thing to do is just stay in front of the crazy drivers. I feel like I, I really, it's not safe to save tires. I guess we'll see what happens. Still another 20... how many laps? No, 33 laps to go. So we still have quite a ways. Could have fooled me with how the, everyone's racing, but still 33 to go. Got one set of tires left. I didn't really have a choice there if everybody else is going to be pitting. About to go green, stay focused. The pace car is in. Green, 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 go. Back in third, keep hustling. The next car's the leader. 
Get a much better jump. Five. Bumped into the corner. Sideways through turns one and two. Okay. Really focus on backing down one and two, I guess. So these guys are just being so aggressive, and it's really making me uncomfortable. See how much time they gain on me on entry, it's absurd. How is it that they're saving tires that better than me? Either. Maybe just have a looser setup, so I don't know. Where do you get your savings, sirs? They would never tell me. That lap time was 30 of course not. That's your best lap in this session. Cola ahead is now We're P two right now though. The twenty one's on pit road. Or no, he's uh he went and did his stop and go, I guess. Pass through whatever he had to do. So he needs a caution. It's going to be hard to beat the one, though, if he's going to be fast both short and long run. Get out to that lead and still save his tires. Not much you can do against that, because you've got the same thing. That lap was at 30.2. Bree might want to get by us. He's looking like he's uh, all over us. There's a pit cone in the track. Not sure how that got there. It's a 14 again. Going pretty fast. Keep hitting the apron in 3 and 4, and I am just driving myself crazy with that. Really wish I would stop doing it. Not there. Ah, uh, now he is. He did get there. Fair enough. Clear. Inside. Clear. We're able to get him by us, but get back in line. Three's on our inside now. Still there, inside. Still there, inside. 
pinched a little bit more than I was meaning to there. I kind of feel bad about that. I hope he isn't too mad. That's maybe a little bit dangerously much. Sure why he's clearing himself on me, he's not clear. Just getting uh, the freight train treatment right now. We're just stuck out here like it's a short track. Not clear. Can people stop cutting it that close? That's not necessary. Really like to get back in line. I think we can do it here. Oh, all right. It's over, thankfully. Again, not even feeling like my tires are bad right now. It's just guys were just finding their way there. That was very dangerous. Got some blocking going on. Get the impression the nine's going to be the guy that is just completely willing to dump the guy too if he starts blocking. You've just done a thirty point seven. He had some uh, aggressive entries on us earlier. I think he's probably not going to put up with too much blocking, so we're going to have to watch out for some contact potentially in front of us. Six. It's not too bad. I'm still happy with that. It's getting loose a little bit, looks like. I'm still taking that really interesting line into three. Gonna go to our outside, I guess. And that's where he's wanted to be into three, so I guess that works. Whoa, the lights just came on, made the track look weird for a second. It's always a little disorienting. Still there. He's outside, clear. And then you're making contact. Oh, come on, man. Three laps in the road. Keep hitting the apron because I just am not very good. what it was that time and I packed it up late. Okay Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Not a good run through one or two there. Kind of missed my marks. And now here comes the seven. I'm missing my mark and I don't know where I'm going on right now. No, holding on to it. Just backing off in the corner. I just don't have long run pace here today. I don't know if it's me, if it's maybe the setup's just a little bit too tight. 
Not sure, but well, the long run pace is just not there for us. Really getting tight out of four. Some movement up there. Nine's blocking. I'm not so sure this is going to be clean all the way to the end. I've seen a lot of concerning things up here. We've been low, uh, slow on that lower line a little bit, and I kind of started moving up the, a lane mid-corner, and that was a mistake. Started getting way too close to that outside wall. Do you think we're faster than the nine potentially right now? I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything about it. It's been having some handling issues, it looks like. leader of course about 300 miles away having no issue beating all of us here today Pull off my left side tires a little bit. That's <laughs> not intentional, but sure. It's okay to clip a little bit of grass in Texas, right? I already like mowed part of it earlier, so. Fine all over the back end of the six, getting them unsettled. Oh god, I I deserve whatever subpar finish I get if I just keep hitting the apron. I just will not stop doing it. Good consistency. Keep it coming. Mine's on the inside of the six. Again. Hey, I didn't hit the apron that time. Wow. They sure are racing hard in front of us, though. Your lap time was 31.5. Take advantage in some way. We're coming to five to go. Great, we're on through three and four. Five left to go. This is less than optimal. Less than optimal. <laughs> I don't know, I don't feel that bad. I mean eighth is a little lower than I would have wanted to be, but it's still not terrible. Hey, we're still trying. We might still be able to get a little bit out of this yet. Ugh. The car is just not turning out of four. 
no turn at all. That was at thirty-one point six. Continue to fight side by side. Continue to almost kill the turn four wall. Six big loose. We are side by side with him. Clear up top, two laps left. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Outside, clear. Not quite able to clear him. Car outside. Keep low. Keep low. Outside is clear. Car outside, last lap. Still there, hold your line. Well, we at least be able to beat the six. White flag, last lap. Still there. Not at all a good corner there. He pinched us hard. Good job, John. Clear outside if you want it. Good win, God bless. I tried. Go on, Amber. Oh well. Why are we doing race. that? Never mind. Chicken flag, chicken flag. I'm sure, the six appreciated that unnecessary forex. You did really well. Oh well. All right. That was a tough one. Pretty scary it a couple times, and I didn't finish quite as well as I would have wanted, but. Still P8, not too bad, top 10. Just had no long run pace, and we really needed that with this race, with the only uh, the one, one caution, so. 71-78. I did better on the right front that time, I think. A little bit. Marginally. I don't know. And that was, uh... That was while being side by side, although I think, I feel like I had a worse second run, so. I don't know what to make of that. Just a rough one. I don't know. But incidents. Let two. We got a wall hit. And a little bit of grass. I'm familiar with that area. That grass stuff. 15 gets a little bit. 11's back there hitting the wall. 18 in the wall and exit. Yes. No, not really. Moving ahead a little bit. Wait till we see anything significant. 13 hitting the wall in a very bad spot. We're already all the way to lap 37. I wonder what the caution was. That'll be happening in uh, a couple laps here. Fifteen's getting loose, the 21 does not lift for him, and that is your caution. So, yeah, the 15 getting major loose, bobbling a little bit, and uh, the 21 thought he was going to spin to the inside, so it kind of made him maneuver to the outside, but just uh, reached the back of his car and finished him off. Big hit for him in the end of his race. So we're back green again. Some blinking going on. 11 found the wall some more. 8 was a little bit up the track it looks like. And the 19 gets sent sideways because of it. Was that not a caution? Did we get another caution? We did. That was another caution. 
I didn't remember the second caution, to be honest. So moving right along, the 18 found the wall. 13 almost, not quite. Gets it there, though. Oh, wow, how's the 8 so far off pace? 7's getting major loose. Oh, that's the 1. No, that's a 7. It's hard to tell with that font. And then uh, the 8 just trying to survive down there. Gets pushed through the grass. That explains what, how that cone got on the uh, racing surface, too. 18 hard into the wall. That's a big hit. Anything else? Probably not too much to see. Maybe a couple uh, hits. Some bumper hits. Later in the race as guys fight for position. Twelve's going hard into the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, sneezing. But that's probably the it, uh, the end of the race in terms of incidents. Probably another wall hit or two, and that's all we're gonna see because this is the final lap. And uh, there's the five goofing around and potentially giving people incidents for no reason. I don't know if he actually got the uh, guy in front of us, but... Hey, there's that uh, new damage model working, I guess. Tire falling off. And uh, that will do it for this one. So we get P8. Uh, not my best performance, but still okay. Um, I just I couldn't figure out the long run pace. And we just kept falling. And uh, guys being aggressive, putting their nose down on the inside, getting the better runs off made it pretty frustrating for us, but they're just doing what they gotta do to get the positions. 29.85 was the strength of field. And you can see we'll lose about 14 I rating for our 8th place. Which is too bad, it wasn't that bad of a run. 126 championship points I'm okay with. And uh, just the 1x from having to go into the grass whenever the uh, they took us 3 wide. I wonder if we could find that it's anywhere. I don't know what lap that would have been. But that would be interesting to see. I want to say it was during this short little run here. I was not particularly fond of it, but I'm just whiny, so. <laughs> yeah, I think it's coming up here. I believe the 9 was involved. Nope, the 9 was not involved. It was the 6 coming from back, way back. Putting it on the outside. Yeah, I just, I had, it's so difficult to get it that low. Like, I don't think I was able to get it, I was going to be able to keep it low enough had I not clipped the grass a bit there. Like, like I don't know, why is the six so far down low if he's going to put it three wide anyway? Like, he's not even in the top lane right now. That, that's just such a dangerous place to put that three wide. And Netcode almost got us too. Like, we weren't touching there, but it did get me a little bit, and I really had to yank the wheel left to prevent it uh, from hooking us. And uh, it doesn't even help the six, so I just, I don't understand that move. Really, but uh, hey, he finished in front of us, so what do I know? But that'll do it! That'll do it for that one! Um, a bit of a stressful one, but we made it, and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you in the next one. Probably gonna do some uh, trucks here this week as well. See you there, and uh, I hope you have a good one. See ya.